Uh, tomorrow being the first day of December, this weekend's going to be warm, but middle of next week, I think you're going to be looking for your sweater or your jacket or your coat. It looks like winter weather finally arriving. This morning, as you head out the door, we've got some thick fog in the city, a quarter mile visibility at the airport, but I know that the south side all the way down to um, Flower Bluff and probably into the island is looking at very low visibility. So coming over the causeway or coming over uh, the Harbor Bridge, you're going to be looking at really low visibility. It's uh, uh, the opposite from what we had earlier in the week where it was dense fog inland and clear at the coast. Now it's foggy at the coast and uh, clear inland. So it's uh, one of those kind of mornings. Temperatures running in the mid 50s for us, looking at the 40s up in the hill country, 30s up in the uh, plains of North Texas. Now, while we ha do have fog and low clouds out there this morning, that is all going to burn off and we're going to continue with sunny, warm afternoons. So uh, don't worry about a jacket for today. It's going to be warm and humid. Uh, temperatures staying like that through the weekend, but what we're getting is a big pattern change. Uh, I've been talking about this a lot because the winds had been very strong zonally, basically from west to east, and that was taking the storms pretty much in that direction. Well, now we're getting a shift where we're getting uh, a dip in the atmosphere that's bringing the cold air into our region and a lot of Pacific moisture as well. We need the moisture coming in over Baja California to get us the, the winter rains, and that's finally what we're going to be getting over the next couple of days. Now. Remember the, the bubble of hot air? That's the, the red one, okay? The, the, the yellow is a fairly cool, and the blue is where the polar jet is, all right? Notice how the bubble of hot air stays very far south, and then all of a sudden you get this big trough like this. Well, pull that atmosphere up, and where does it come from? The southwest it comes from the Pacific, so all that Pacific moisture is going to be riding up on top of cool air. So by the time we get to maybe Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, we're really going to start feeling a change in the season and certainly in the weather pattern as well. So sunny skies this afternoon. This will burn off pretty quickly. We'll stay on the warm side. Tail end of a front comes through uh, tomorrow. Not much of a system, but there's the beginning of it. Here's the low. You can see the cloud deck and the rain, which will go through northern Texas. We'll get a little bit of that by Sunday and Monday. And then by Tuesday, things really get exciting because we've got a strong front coming through. So 79 today on the mild side will be warm again on Saturday. Sunday, the clouds start to thicken. By Monday, we'll see light showers on the warm side, on the warm sector of that front. But frontal system on Tuesday will be the strongest one we've seen in a while. In fact, by the time we get to Wednesday, we're looking for a high of only 63 with rain and wind and cold. And by then, we'll finally get some good caldo weather around here, you know. <laughs> That's your forecast. Mike, Tess, back to you.